Guggenheim fellow, all around badass, Dr. Felipe Sals. Where are you coming to us from today? From my basement in Northampton, Mass. Do you remember the first time playing the music? I remember that arrangement that you did for Alone Together and how I could never get my entrance into the solo. Always this like chaos. But you haven't missed it since. Yeah, it took me a few years, but you know, eventually I got it. Once you get it, everything makes sense. It's a matter of fluency with a vocabulary. Being a performer and a composer, I think, gave me the ability to listen for a much broader perspective. What's your approach to playing in this band? There's a lot of lines that you write for the two berries and, and the bass trombone. I start like really focusing on those crucial points because I think the other ones are sight readable, but not those. Those have to be like studied and practiced in advance. Basically, you know, practicing because I'm afraid of being embarrassed in public. That's, that's my motto. I guess I do leave people out there in a really exposed way. There are moments where things are so massive and so chaotic, and then there are moments where it's just one person hanging in there pretty much naked. It's very your style, you know, the dramatic difference between massive orchestration and really thin or non-existent orchestration at some point. So everybody gets to be featured, to have their statement, and, you know, you really give people the chance to be themselves in those situations which is pretty frightening when you're hanging out there all alone and you have to make a good statement. I really appreciate how everyone takes those opportunities now as a chance to be a part of the composing process. That's how it should be. It's not just you being yourself, it's you being yourself within the context of the composer's vision. On this record, I have given you probably the single most physically demanding solo I think I've ever asked of someone. Like a marathon, you gotta pace yourself or otherwise you'll be done before you're done. And in a situation like that, your band will just eat me alive. It is incredible to me that you have more in the tank and that there is more intensity that you can get out of it. And it's, it's just magical, man. It's a matter of honor. You gotta make it happen. I think the important thing is, is to be able to really manage the curve and get to the end of it feeling like you're delivering the end of it as well as the beginning. I thank you for giving me the chance. I have to say I was very, very proud that I was able to rise up to, to the challenge that you put in front of me, which was not an easy challenge, but I, I loved it. Do you have a favorite track on the record? Your work is not defined by tracks. Each track is part of a larger thing. Both the symphony and the concerto, I think, are amazing. I love a lot of things. Track six, everything developed from the gorgeous flute solo all the way to the end of the track. The violin concerto to the entire concerto is gorgeous. I love the, the violin cadenzas. The left hand pizzicati was really cool. I'm married to a violinist. And the best I've ever gotten was good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> Felipe has a record out called The uh, the New Immigrant Experience with his large ensemble, and it's all about the dreamers, the, the recipients of the Dream Act. I'd love to hear your take on this album as a protest record. We played the final movement, the third, right after the election. Oh my God, everything is in the balance now. The interesting thing is like before that moment, to me, the music was a much darker view of where we were and at that moment things just got so much darker it seemed like the music became more hopeful the concerto kind of reminds us where we've been and that you can get back there and build from there don't take anything for granted even when it's not ideal the context has completely been altered but i think that's the amazing thing about art that is is constantly changing i've been reading a lot of james baldwin you look at what he said 60 years ago 50 years ago you look deep down into the core of it and it's still the same unfortunately it's timeless the amazing thing about culture and art is like you can always revisit it and look at it from different perspectives. I think that when we listen back to this, hopefully in a few years, we'll have a different perspective of it. Anything else that you would want people to know? I have very weird doubles, which I always joke about. I'm the one guy that is hardest to find a sub for, so maybe the, the gig safe. Play berry and tenor and flute and soprano, you know, which is kind of like the opposite 
extremes of the the range there. I wouldn't change that for anything. I really like to have a, a unique place. Any recent or upcoming projects? The new immigrant experience. This has been really the focus of my work for the last two years. And I have a couple of other projects that I'm starting to look into. It's important to keep pushing. Hi to Lauda and to the family. So great to see you. I miss you. Me too. All right, bye.